Okay, I'm going to do the second part of the kind of understanding what the the bobcats are worth, and it's going to change every year. We, we keep all these videos archived. I'm afraid to talk numbers because what I think they're worth, they, a fur buyer may not think they're worth that, and five years from now they may be worth a quarter or twice as much. So I'm not going to really go into what they're worth, but what I do want you to be able to kind of see on your own cats, what are the differences that you're catching so you'll know as far as quality goes, what you're really catching and if they're not. Now these are just two bobcats I picked for a reason because these are gonna be our comparisons for the back. That is red and there's hardly any markings on it. And this is lighter and, and this is what a lot of fur buyers call red back. You know, if it's got a good belly on it, there's a lot of spots on that. But if there wasn't a lot of spots on this, you're going to get tagged pretty hard because it's flat. It's it's red. There's no colors in there. But because that's got spots on it, it'll do okay. This is what they call rabbit back. It's just the color of a rabbit. and uh, But it's got a bright, bright belly. So, I mean, that's one of the advantages of where I trap. And that's why I trap, that's why I trap that. But it's, we're going to look at this, some comparisons of these cats. The, surely you can see the difference. So if you're making a coat out of this and you're a buyer or a coat maker, you can do more with the back of this one. These are all going to be different. When you hear about rosettes and all kind of stuff, this is what they're talking about. You can see, like even on the sides, I mean you got coloration on the back, but even on the sides, they can get a wider strip out of this cat where it's still gonna look really good on a coat. And look at the, the way this is right here. I mean, you can see all these different colors going down through the side. So not only do you have bright spots, you've got these spots on the side, those rosettes right there. And every one of these are gonna be different, but you can, you can see that there's gonna be a huge difference when you go to sell these. I mean, look at that one with this coming up on the sides right there. So if you're if you're a, a coat maker and you're looking at these two bobcats, which ones would you be more interested in to pay more money in? Let's flip this, start a new pile. You've got all the different color variations in there. Look how predominant these are. Just a different version. See, this has got even darker and some of the, the colored in there. Even these little spots. Anything that's going to make the coat look more and more interesting. Even though it's not rosettes per se, it's, look. I mean, just the difference of that. Now look at that, comparatively. And... Oh yeah, that's what you want right there. Now, but you, wherever you're trapping, now in Tennessee, we do catch cats on a smaller percentage that will have some of these spots on the back. And you will everywhere to a point. You'll, you'll be able to catch these. We, can, we do catch some cats in Tennessee in the mountains especially that do have spots and markings on the back, but it's a lower percentage of doing that but that's going to definitely definitely add value to those cats now i'm going to talk a little bit about the color not the bellies but just the color of the, the the cats here a little bit and so when you hear some of these terms like i said you got rabbit back that's what it looks like you've got a red back that's what that one looks like what you're wanting is what people call blue or gray, which is that right there. I mean, surely to goodness, you can see the difference between those two if you were trying to make a coat. And you can catch this color variation pretty much anywhere. This was somewhat still going to be considered a blue or a gray, but it's a lot lighter. The lighter this is, the better this is. You can see the difference. So if you're going to be making coats on the side but most of the time you've got a red one you've got a just a what just a generic all across the country color rabbit back type 
and you got grays or blues and different areas will probably have different things. But all this, like I said in the first video, you can't control what you catch. It does, you're not a better trapper if you go out and you catch these things with these rosettes all over it than you are if you catch one that looks like that. That has nothing to do with trapping skills, so don't get tore up about that. If genetically this is where you're trapping and that's what they look like and not this, this is what you're gonna catch. No special set or anything like that's gonna make any difference. So just go out there and enjoy your trap line. But I just wanted to, to since I had all these cats sitting here, I just wanna take a minute and show you the difference of them. So you kind of have an idea there is a difference between cats and then there's a big difference between these and Kansas cats and these and Maine cats but when you really get out to the western the lynx cats what they call them not the lynx in Canada but the the lynx cat the way the the, the fur market calls like what you hear in Nevada and Colorado and places those are totally different than these two just go out and have a good time catch as many cats as you can because I promise you one thing most years cats are worth something <laughs>